What did the judges decide on 15th December 2017 concerning Mr. Lubanga's liability for reparations? Trial Chamber 2 of the International Criminal Court said the amount of Toma Lubanga Dilo's liability for collective reparations to victims at 10 million US dollars because of his responsibility for war crimes, namely conscripting and enlisting children under the age of 15 into the UPC FPLC militias and using them to participate actively in hostilities. This decision complements the previous decisions of the judges in this case. The Chamber has already approved the implementation of symbolic collective reparations and directed the Trust Fund to begin the selection of implementing partners for collective reparations. The Chamber will decide in due course on the next steps in the implementation of the reparations process. At the end of a trial, the ICC Trial Chamber may order reparations to the victims of the convicted person's crimes. Reparations may take different forms, they can be symbolic or material, and can be awarded on an individual or collective basis, depending on the decision of the Chamber and what is the most appropriate for the victims in the particular case. In the Lubanga case, the judges ordered that collective reparations, both symbolic and non-symbolic, would be implemented through the Trust Fund for Victims. How will these reparations be implemented? since Mr. Lubanga does not have enough money to pay for them himself. In view of Mr. Lubanga's indigence, the Chamber invited the Board of Directors of the Trust Fund for Victims to examine the possibility of earmarking an additional amount for the implementation of collective reparations in this case and or continuing its efforts to raise additional funds. The Chamber also instructed the Trust Fund to make contact with the government of the Democratic Republic of the Congo to explore how the government might contribute to the reparations process. What was the basis for Trial Chamber 2's decision on Mr. Lubanga's liability? The Chamber recalled that the scope of a convicted person's liability is proportionate to the harm caused and, among other things, proportionate to his or her participation in the commission of the crimes for which he or she has been found guilty in the specific circumstances of the case. The Chamber examined a sample of 475 applications, representative of all of the victims potentially eligible for reparations. The Chamber concluded that 427 of them were most likely direct or indirect victims of the crimes of which Mr. Lubanga was convicted. And the Chamber stated, however, that Further evidence established the existence of hundreds or even thousands of additional victims affected by Mr. Lubanga's crimes. The Chamber also stated that some potential victims were no longer willing or able to take part in the reparations process for safety reasons. The Chamber assessed the harm suffered by the um, aforementioned 427 persons recognized as victims of Mr. Lubanga at 3.4 million US dollars and equitably assessed Mr. Lubanga's liability exclusive of the harm suffered by those 427 persons at 6.6 .6 million US dollars, bringing the total amount of Mr. Lubanga's liability for collective reparations to 10 million US dollars.